Great to be here. Huh? So you, I'll throw it out there. You guys got questions or anything? How much better is the wrestling than the wrestling? That's a great question. Not, not as much as you think. Um, sometimes, sometimes, you know, there's, there's great wrestlers everywhere in every state, and so I think sometimes people think, well. They're the only best wrestlers in Pennsylvania or Iowa. Like they invented the sport, no one else knows how to do anything else. And so uh, you you can always find wrestlers, great wrestlers everywhere. At Nebraska, I've been privileged. We've had we've had 68 All Americans from 19 different states. 19 different. So you know we had All American, Sony second All American ever in South Carolina history. Guy named T.J. Dudley, who's a three-time All-American course, right? So he's still wrestling in R ROTC. He's from Irma. and so you know, think about T.J. Dudley. He didn't. He didn't have. He he didn't have uh, all great workout partners growing up, right? So how how did he end up being a three-time Division One All-American? He was third in the nation. He's senior, a really super tough weight. He just took third at the U.S. Open. Uh, on a senior level, so so he's advanced, right? You can't measure a guy's heart in wrestling. Heart is a big deal. Effort is a big deal, right? If you walk in our wrestling room, attitude, effort, always. Meaning consistent, you know, consistent. So you can control all those things in that. So it doesn't matter if you're from Alabama. It doesn't matter if you're from Pennsylvania. What advice would you give to any of them that want to go to college to wrestle? Yeah, just make sure you take good care of your grades and and have great work ethic. You know, I think any any coach will will take great guys that that have great work ethic and that are going to put out that effort. But make sure you're going class. Make sure you're you're doing what you need to in high school. You know, there's a purpose behind that. Right? Some days you'll have kids. What do you want to teach them? That's what I always tell my college guys. Hey, it ain't just about you. Hey, it's about your what your parents sacrificed, right? And then what are you telling your own kids? Ten years from now, you're going to have kids. What are you going to tell them? Well, don't go to class? Oh, because I don't like the teacher? you got to overcome, right? Wrestling teaches you you've got to overcome. The ref might have a bad call. You got to might be biased, guy might be whatever. You just gotta overcome. You gotta find a way to win. That's all controlling your mind. You know, controlling your mindset. Big. Yeah. What are the number one traits you look for? Love, love to be talented, but just work ethic what I talked about. I'm a worker myself, so I, I look for that quality, right? And and guys like, you know, Jordan Burroughs is one of the best wrestlers ever in, in the world, right? He was 16 and 13 his freshman year in college. He got beat by a walk-on kid 13 to 5 in his first wrestling. No one ever hears about these stories, right? But he got beat 13 to 5. You know what he did? He didn't make his weight right because he didn't cut his weight. He didn't know how to cut, cut, cut his weight right. You know, and all that sugar got in the stomach. It wasn't good for Jordan Burroughs. <laughs> didn't feel real good, didn't feel real strong, and he got his butt whooped. And I remember my assistant at that time said, Manny, we made a big mistake with Burroughs. Right? He was only 16 and 13 his freshman year. He wasn't all there. Right? So how did he do it? Little by little, he won the national champ the next year. Right? Another guy in the flow wrestling is doing a thing on James Green, right? He was only a one-time state champion. Comes to Nebraska, he's four-time All-American, five-time world medal, five-time world team guy. Five years in a row, he made the world team every year, which is unprecedented in U.S. wrestling. And he's two-time world medals. It's about the ability to overcome, right? So. You want it on that level? Mindset. What do I look for? It's really what you're what you're willing to do. But make sure you're you've got great character. Uh, high school wrestling. Uh, well, 
uh, at college, we're lucky because we have good high school coaches and club coaches that develop the guys, then we just take them and top them off. <laughs> so we're lucky, and you know, especially in the Big Ten, you know, we're on the TV a lot, Big Ten Network. Well, it, there's a new, man in the Big Ten. It's tough. It's tough, and it's it's the highest level of wrestling. You know, look at every year how many All Americans come out of our conference, or you know, national champs come out. Not for the thing of heart. It's competitive, you know, very competitive. It's just great you now. You want to be the best, you gotta go where you can. You guys are privileged right here. You guys got great coaches. Coach Elkins, awesome coach. And all his assistants. It's really cool. This is really impressive what you guys got here. Keep building on it. Keep inviting more kids, man. You know, huge. You never know when one of your, what you say to a buddy, how that will influence him on a path and a direction that might change the trajectory of his, trajectory of his life. Just like that. Just, hey, invite him to practice one time. You know, get other people involved. And that's being a leader. That's all that's doing. 